great. Thank you so much. Um, the next uh, will be Megan talking for the Institute for the Arts and Humanities. Yes, and we are a faculty development center. We've been working on our elevator speech, which is very complicated. It's very long, so I'll try to give you a very abbreviated version. Um, we support faculty development at every stage of their career. And uh, it's, we've, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary this year, so we've been around a long time. It was founded by a faculty member in religious studies department as a collegial center. Um, we, our foundational cornerstone program is our faculty fellows program, which um, offers uh, fellowships to faculty in the arts, humanities, and qualitative social sciences because they have been, uh, outside of funding opportunities, have been traditionally pretty limited to that population of faculty in the university. Um, more recently, now about 10 years old, is our, our Tyson Leadership Program which um, is a university-wide program that supports leadership, um, faculty leadership in its broadest sense, not just training uh, faculty to become administrators within the university system, although Holden went through that and Karen Gill went through that. Several you know, of our academic leaders have gone through this program, but also for faculty um, to become leaders in, in every part of their professional life. Um, whether that be them doing community work, whether that be them in the classroom, in their department. So we understand leadership in, in the broadest sense and want to support faculty in that large way. And I have um, information about these two programs over at the end of the table here, which um, you're welcome to look at. And we are, both of them, we're doing calls for, for applications right now. And these are open to faculty, both tenure track and fixed term. Uh, but uh, what I want to spend time is is talking about our Innovation Fund, which is a brand new fund that we're doing as part of Innovate at Carolina. And um, it's a fund that, that we started and we've already had great success in, in fundraising for. We hope to endow it eventually. Um, we're doing a pilot program for three years um, with support from the Office of the Vice Chancellor for um, Research and Economic Development. And this fund is um, Dottie and Gaber are some of our, our funded groups. We, we did a call in the spring and we got 60 applications. Again, this is university-wide, um, but it's a call to faculty who are working collaboratively um, on an interdisciplinary level who um, are doing work, innovative work, relevant to the arts and humanities. So most of the projects are teams of faculty from across campus. We had art department in the dental school uh, faculty creating a team, for example. So out of these 60 applications, we selected five for funding. But this is, we're trying to develop a very different kind of funding model for um, scholarship, especially in the, in the um, college. And so we're trying to not have this be a zero-sum game. And in addition, so we have the funded and the unfunded projects, because we are a, a faculty you know, we're, we're, we're here to support faculty. So even though your project isn't funded, we're trying to support these projects and encourage them in other ways by, um, we think of ourselves as marriage brokers, connecting faculty to each other, letting faculty who are working on similar things or related things know about each other's projects. So um, in October, we're having a series of workshops. Every, it's every Monday from 3 to 5 in October. And these are actually um, invited uh, workshops where we're asking groups of these 60 faculty, we've lumped them into groups, different groups, um, to, and this is news to you, Dottie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'm writing the email right today. Yeah. <laughs> today or tomorrow. <laughs> um, we're having these workshops where we're asking faculty to present, they're giving, they're giving micro talks. They have five minutes like this. We're going to hire you. <laughs> yeah. They have five minutes to present their project, and we're filling the room with um, selected service providers from within the university and outside of the university who we've already, they've already looked at the project's proposals. There are people who are saying, we've looked at these proposals, we have something to offer these people. So the faculty are going to stand up, present their idea, and then the people in the audience are going to respond, how can, how can I help you, Dottie and Gabe? You know, so it's not this general, 
sort of general survey of service at the university, but it's actually the faculty saying, this is what I want to do. And then all of you hopefully saying, this is what, <laughs> how we can support you. So, that, so we're trying a new model, and I would really love to get any of you who might be interested in supporting interdisciplinary projects in the arts and humanities to um, give me your contact information, because this is new and we're trying to establish relationships. But this will be an endowed fund, so this will be a long-term opportunity to learn about what faculty are doing and what support they need to accomplish their research interests. I think I'm out of time. <laughs>